The University of Pikeville took their second loss of the season today to Bethel University by a score of 24 to 21 here at the Hambly Athletic Complex. This afternoon, the Bears took on non-division opponent Bethel University, looking to bounce back after a loss to EKU last Thursday. The Bears took the field with the loss of their starting quarterback, Sonny Warren, and true freshman Bowen Smith would take the first snap for the Bears, giving them an explosive start, putting up six on the board first. Bethel's first points of the game would come from a field goal until Quincy Walden gave the Wildcats their first touchdown of the game, strutting into the end zone as they take a three-point lead over the Bears. Quarterback Bowen Smith will help execute six more points as he connects with Prestonsburg native Jordan Gerald in the end zone for the Bears' second touchdown of the afternoon. The Wildcats clawed their way back to the top once more, taking another lead change. This time, quarterback Kerry Sellers will keep this one himself, and with ease, he'll make it into the end zone, breaking a few tackles along the way. The Bears will answer back with just over five minutes to go in the fourth quarter as Smith finds another local standout, Jordan Olinger of Hazard, for another six points for the Bears. U Pike almost had it in the bag until Bethel's quarterback, Kerry Sellers puts the game in his hands once more for his second rushing touchdown of the night. I had the chance to catch up with head coach Al Holland Jr. after the loss. You know, we, we had some improvement today, but we didn't, uh, you know, finish on some plays, had some big plays and, and move the ball offensively and, uh, you know, and, and stopped them defensively. We, we stopped their uh, passing game and made them one dimensional and they was running the football. But, uh, you know, uh, we, we had some coverage plays that just broke down with the quarterback getting out of the pocket and making some nice runs down the stretch. So uh, we just got to continue to work and, and these guys will. You know, we got 16 seniors and they'll continue to grow and get better. And uh, we just got to continue to, to grind this thing out and continue to work every single day to, to get back on track. The Bears are back in action next Saturday at 1.30 at the Hambly Athletic Complex up against number five ranked Reinhardt University. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB Sports, I'm Michaela Colley.